Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to continue with mathematics revision, the Miranda mock, whereby we are going to handle a logarithm question, and it is in number two of this paper, whereby we are told that uh, solve for x in the logarithm of 3x minus 2 to base 5 plus the logarithm of 2x minus 1 to base 5 equals to 0 without mathematical tables or calculator. Therefore, we're going to apply the laws of logarithms and indices, and we are going to see the solution to this question. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link with your friends. So, because we have a plus here, we shall employ the law which says that when we have the logarithm of A plus the logarithm of B, this one will be solved by having the logarithm a multiplied by b which means for the left hand side of the equation then we shall have the logarithm to base 5 of 3x minus 2 multiplied by 2x minus 1 this one is equal to 0 therefore we can expand these brackets whereby we shall have the logarithm to base 5 of, we multiply 3x times everything in the second brackets, whereby 3x will go by 2x, giving us 6x squared. Then 3x by negative 1 and negative 2 by 2x, that will give us negative 7x, then positive 2 equals to zero it is good we sort the right hand side of the equation before we continue very much and we are going to sort it by introducing the logarithm to base five at that side and we should remember that there is a law of logarithm which says that the logarithm of one to any base any base we can give it base a should be equal to zero. The logarithm to any base of one should be equal to zero. This one is true because in case we change the expression from being in logarithm form to index notation, then we shall agree that we can have a raised to zero to give us the number we have here. Therefore, this means when we express in index notation, a raised to zero should give us one. And it is true that when we take any number and we raise it to zero, then it should give us one. So this tells us that we can have a logarithm identity, which says that the logarithm of one to any base, then it should give us a zero. Therefore, here we can equate zero to the logarithm of one to base five. Therefore, we can now rewrite the equation by saying the logarithm to base five of 6x squared minus 7x positive 2 equals to, this one we can close the brackets, equals to the logarithm to base 5 of 1. Then now we can drop logarithms and we quit the two sides of the equation, whereby 6x squared minus 7x when we bring 1 to this side, we will have it as plus 1 because we will subtract 1 from 2. This one will remain with a 0 to this side, which means now we can solve it quadratically, whereby we will say uh, we need a product of 6 and a sum of negative 7, which means uh, these two can be negative 6 and negative 1. And we expand <coughs> the expression here, whereby now we shall have 6x squared minus, instead of 7x, we can have negative x and negative 6x. This one gives us negative 7. So we are just re-expressing negative 7 and splitting it to negative 6 and negative 1. Positive 1 equals to 0. So when we open or we factorize, 
in every two terms. We will find in the first case we have 6x being common. So we will remain with x minus 1. Then positive, positive 1. So that will remain with x minus 1. Okay, this one should be negative. <clears throat> when we factorize negative 1, we remain with x minus 1. Yeah, so this should be negative 1 equals to 0. So now we can equate, or before we equate the roots, then we can have x minus 1 is the common root. Then 6x minus 1 equals to 0. So that now we can agree that each root can be equated to 0 separately. Whereby we will have x s1 or x s 1 out of 6. x s 1 out of 6. So that is how we solve this kind of a logarithm equation. Thank you for following. Subscribe and share.